Oh, what's going on? What's up with this? What's up with this lighting? We need some. We need some fucking lighting in here, don't we? No? You gonna light me up? Light me up, man! Here we go. What's going on, guys? Welcome. Welcome to another episode of Making Gains, and it's the first episode of The Cut. And would you believe we're sipping on a white monster? So, the date is the uh, 28th of March. Come on. Come on. I'll tell you what guys, one thing, one thing I realized about this lens is that, yeah, it's great for um, when you're far away, but up close, it doesn't focus good at all. So I think I've got to get a, a smaller, lens with less of a zoom. Light me up! Where is it? Alright, anyways, doesn't matter. Today's date is the 28th of March and it's about 11.15 in the morning and I've got a day off. Um, since getting back from Melbourne, I had, I got back on Tuesday, I had Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off. I worked Saturday, Sunday, Monday. 12 hours a day and then today is Tuesday so I've got today and tomorrow off then I do another two days blah 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 um, actually our workload has actually decreased a little bit so I was probably doing at least 50 if not 55 even 60 hours a week um, you know probably a good month ago a couple of shifts have been canned so obviously everyone's workload goes down a little bit I'm sure that'll be back up before we know it, but at the moment we do have a little bit of uh, time off, a bit more time off, and so I'm actually only working about seven days a fortnight at the moment. So seven twelves is 84. I work a 73 hour fortnight. That's what I get paid on, so I still get 16 hours overtime. No, sorry, 80, 84, 11 hours overtime. And you know, that's, that's enough to bump up the pay packet a little bit. It's definitely nothing like getting 30 or 40 hours overtime. When you've, when you've clocked in, when you've filled out a timesheet and you've got 30 or even 40 hours overtime and you've worked weekends, man, you just know. You just know you're going to get a good pay. But anyways, I'm going to try and use this extra time off productively uh, like this morning. I've actually just shot my first video uh, about the topic of steroids and you know, my opinions on steroids and would I ever do them? And um, if you are interested in that, then I would say go back to the previous video on my channel and check it out. I'm hoping that it goes well, you know, give it a like, share it if you want. These are my opinions and mine only, but I thought it was about time I gave you my opinions on steroids, seeing as I am a natural. So with that said, I'm just editing it up now. I'm going to run through my macros for these first four days. So I started dieting on Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Today's Tuesday. Let's have a look at my macros for the first four days. This is going to be a mini cut. It's not going to be a huge cut. I'm not going to get really shredded. I basically just want to get in and out, you know, six weeks, eight weeks tops. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, good. Okay, bye. All right, see ya. Okay, so that's enough of that. Um, yeah, so the macros for Friday. Now, like I was saying, I want to be in and out six to eight weeks. I don't want to fuck around, so I am, you know, my calories are, uh, they have been cut pretty drastically. You know, I was on probably 
three and a half to four thousand calories a day um, I've dropped them down to anything under 2500 I'm gonna be happy with with that being said the first day uh, first day my calories were 2130 second day Saturday I, I stopped at 1800 which is fucking low Sunday 1900 yesterday I bumped it up a little bit I had 2500 and today I have had nothing I've just had this so probably an average of what 2200 2100 or something like that um, which is you know that's definitely on point for me at the moment and as far as macros let's have a little look at that Friday look macros I want my protein to be at least 200 I want my fats to be 70 or under and I want my carbs to make up the rest so Friday protein was 175 carbs 194 fat 73 Saturday protein 212 carbs 119 fat 39 that was a hard day Sunday protein 163 carbs 205 fat 46 and yesterday protein was up around 280 carbs was at about 200 and fat was at 74 so you know that's probably ideal yes if I can bring my calories down to 2000 I'll be even happier because I really do want to be in and out of this cut as soon as possible you know I want to I want to bring out bring out the fucking detail again I want to get some detail back you know this is how I'm looking right now it's time it's time it's time guys it's time to get this shit sorted and I'm really looking forward to it so you know I've cracked into it really well I haven't done any cardio I have not done one cardio session since day nine of this series when I went um played some basketball What a stunner, but it's not surprising because it's like this every single night here. So I've just taken my client down to the Oval for his AFL footy training. And in the background you can see the basketball court. So every now and then I'll get on the shift where we take him to training. And turns out I got the lucky straw today. But actually, it's not the lucky straw because he's been fucking misbehaving like every single time. But today I was clearly the whisperer and he has been behaving and he's out there playing now so I have a basketball and I'm gonna go and shoot around in the evening sun here in Alice Springs it's officially the first piece of off-season cardio for me uh, this year of games so I'm gonna get into it I love basketball the last time I actually played for a team was in uh, senior boys at Kashmir High School back in Christchurch and I wasn't the best player by any means, but I did fucking love it. And there is nothing like, there is no cardio workout, no cardiovascular workout like fucking playing basketball full tit for like a half. I mean, even a quarter, even a few minutes. I remember I used to get the most driest throat. It was ridiculous. Like, there was no workout like it. Not, not a rugby game, nothing. I've always loved shooting around and, you know, playing around with the ball. So I brought one down and we're going to have a few shots, see if I can dunk it. I'm not sure I can. I really don't think I can. These are these are full-size 10-foot hoops, by the way. So if I do dunk it, um, kudos to me, but I, I doubt it. Let's see. I 
fucking love this shit. I could do this all day. I don't know why I didn't use this for cardio when I was cutting. Anyway, so I'm gonna get this dunk. This is the last thing I do. Let's go. Stoked with that. I think today we'll probably do my first cardio session. Um, so I'm gonna bring the camera along for whatever that is. Obviously I'm gonna lift and uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'm gonna leave you guys now. That was the macros for the first four days. We're on day five of the cut. I'm feeling good. I've dropped the water weight. I'm not 105 kilos anymore. I'm probably about 102 and a half. And um, you know, I expected that. Once my weight starts going under 100, uh, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. You know, I'm I'm very very used to seeing three figures on the scale, and um, I'm not too sure about how I'm going to deal with that. But we'll uh, we'll cross that hurdle when we get there. Um, I want my six pack back, man. I want some nice cuts in my rear delt. I want all that shit. So that's what we're doing, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next clip, wherever that may be. Peace. All right. So the first thing I can definitely show you guys is my first meal. Now, not only when I was bulking, but also when, I, when I'm cutting, uh, my first meal is gonna be a shake. My shakes, when I was bulking, had so many ingredients, it was so huge, it was probably at least 1,500 calories per shake. I've cut that in quarters, basically, and now I'm going for about a 300 to 350 calorie shake. I want protein, I want carbs, and you know, minimal fats. So what I'm doing is my protein source is egg whites. I'm using these ones currently. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna measure this out. We've got the food scales here. Put that on top, press it, it zeroes it out, and I want 300 grams of egg whites. So we've got 170 and that's 300 so 300 grams of, of egg whites is probably about 35 grams of protein 40 grams of protein something like that um, with that we will put I always always like having something frozen in my shakes not only to you know give it flavor to keep it cold and give it a nice texture so we've got egg whites, I put in strawberries, and you, uh, you better know we've got plenty of those because I bought a chest freezer, which was the best investment of my fucking life, and now I just keep everything frozen in that. So I want, now guys, huge tip, huge tip. Strawberries are so low in calories. This entire bag, 500 grams, will give me 186 calories, okay, but we only want 150 grams, so less than 200 calories for an entire bag of strawberries. That's amazing. But anyways, so we're gonna put in one serve, which is 150 grams. So there we go. I do want a little bit of sweetness. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use one serve. This is maple flavored syrup. It's another real huge tip I'd give to sweeten anything when you're on a diet. One serve is 35 mils, which is a big serve, and it's only got 18 calories. So we're gonna, we're gonna put 35 mils in here. There we go. That's gonna sweeten it quite nicely. Uh, as well as that, we're gonna use some almond milk because I do not enjoy drinking egg whites straight up. Um, I need a little bit of, you know, a different liquid texture in there. So we're gonna put a uh, 200 mils of almond milk, which is all good. And what else are we gonna do? What what else should we do, guys? I'll put in, I'll put in a banana, actually. That'll, that'll finish it off nicely. So at the moment I don't have any protein powder 
which I need to rectify. But that reminds me, I will put in my creatine as well. I've been trying my best. I've been trying, guys, I promise, um, to you know, remember to take my creatine because I know it's so important, especially when I'm cutting. The entire time I was cutting last time, I did not take creatine once, and it was the stupidest thing I could have ever done. You know, as a natural, you need all the help you can get in maintaining the muscle. So anyways, here we go. 300, 300 mils of egg whites, 150 grams of strawberries, some maple flavored syrup, and one banana, and we're gonna mix that up now. Well, all right then. And here we have it. So the macros will be uh, on screen this way. <laughs> I'm gonna get this down and I'll see you guys for some cardio. Mm, not bad. I definitely need a protein powder. I need a good tasting protein powder to mix with it. I'll be able to take all the other sweetening ingredients out. The banana could go, the fucking maple flavored syrup could go, and it would be even higher in protein, lower in carbs, and lower in fat. I gotta get a protein powder. Gotta get it. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Oh.